Have you ever wondered why do you get those extra surface sometimes when you try to fill it the solid edges in Rhino 3D software? What caused it and how to avoid it? Hi, I'm PJ Chen, an authorized Rhino 3D trainer. Today, I would like to talk about a very popular command, variable radius fillet in this tutorial. Let's talk about the fundamental concept and discuss the most issue that my student have. Let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the concept of using fillet. It's living under the solid tool and it is called variable radius fillet. What we do is we pick up the comment and then we can type in any of the radius we want to. We can choose one edge and they will take care of between uh, two surfaces. Or we can actually pick on a multiple edges with the same radius and where it connected, it will be smooth and round there. However, you can also pick up different uh, radius. How do we do it? Let's say I wanted to have two and you hit enter. And right here on the top at the command bar, you're going to see add handle. So I'm going to add the handle right in the middle and I hit enter. After I hit enter, you can kind of drag it so you can change the radius right there. Or you can just simply type it. Once you hit enter, then you will get this surface right there. What is the issue that caused fitted edges fail is the length that you have might be too small compared to the fillet you are, wanted to do. What that means is I'm going to measure, in this case, I have 10 units here. That means uh, in this case it's 10 millimeter. So the first fillet I'm going to do, pick up the fillet, and then I'm going to type it 5. And that's the first edge. That means uh, the total length that I had was 10 and I used up 5. If I'm going to fit it on the other side, I have to do less than 5 mm or I will have trouble. Let's get a try. I'm going to do the fit it again. And this time I'm going to choose 6, which is bigger than 5. And when I click here, you got the extra surface because Rhino doesn't have enough um, room to work on this fillet. What about if we work on 4.9, which is smaller than 5? Then you will be totally fi fine. Okay, Let's take a look on the second example. This happened a lot when you have something coming into the point. And you try to fill it and then you you have a lot of extra surface. Let's give it a try. We're going to use the same comment. And this time I want to type it too. And you pick up here and here. And you got those extra surface. What we can fix this problem is we try to make the fillet a little bit smaller. Let's try one. And it will work like this way. Sometimes there's other way to work with it. I'm going to make a copy and do a comparison. This one, I'm just going to use what I did. I'm using one right there. OK, so I get this kind of surface. And you can see it's a little bit harsh edge right there. The second thing what we wanted to do is utilize the variable radius by click on the surface first, and then we hit enter, and then we want to add handle. Right here, I want to add a handle right in the middle, and hit enter again. And this time, I want everybody where close to the where's at the corner go to zero. Okay, everything look nice. Let's take a look. So now the fillet is different. It going from 1 to the 0 and you keep it the point like this. 
compare with this one, it gives you a radius here. So you can see I keep this corner there. So there's no right or wrong. It's just about what kind of shape that, that you like. The third things that we have is you probably run into this kind of shape before. And when you try to do the fillet, and let's say we're going to do one, you hit enter, and then you get something like this, which is not too bad. But sometimes I do not like this puffy. How am I going to change the curvature on the fillet? You cannot change here. What we need to pay attention on this one is we need to know what is the smallest radius that we have here. And then we want to avoid extra surface. So let's do a check first. I'm going to use the uh, radio dimension tool and go into my top view. And I'm just going to run my curve and kind of check on it. The largest one I have is about four, five, well, I get the 20 something here, but what we want to check is this really tiny one. It's like 0.4 millimeter. So be really careful. And sometimes it is flat. So you might not run into that much of a problem, but when it is kind of a really organic shape that will run into some problem there. Okay, so this is one way to check it. What is the smallest radius that we have on this object? So the, uh, the, the way to changing the radius, uh, how puffy we want on the edge, uh, we can do this way. We are going to use the pipe tool and we're going to pick up the edge. Right here, uh, I'm just going to simply using 0.8 millimeter and to run a pipe there. And like this one, be really careful. It's kind of folding into each other. But it doesn't uh, affect the way we're going to do it because it, we are going to use the pipe to trim the surface. And it doesn't uh, get into that area. So I'm going to use the trim tool, pick up the pipe, enter. And you want to pick up the uh, edge that we want to trim it off. And then after that, let's delete the pipe. So we got a clean cut uh, for the edge. We get rid of the edge there and we have the clean cut. So how to build a surface in between we are going to use is the blend tool. Let's pick up this surface edge and pick up the other one and you hit enter. And very soon you're going to see um, this curve over there. And this is how you can edit. You can kind of moving in a little bit more, moving down. So it's more a little bit more straight there. Or you can make it really bump and make it a little bit more uh, a corner-ish looking and depends on how you like it. Uh, they doesn't have to be exactly the same on both of them. If you want to move two at the same time, what you can do is you can lock it and then you can move both at the same time. Okay, so looking at this, this look fine to me and then we can preview and see if we like it. Okay, and if you feel like you need more puffier, then you just move the bar up so you will get this. Don't forget to um, join the uh, surface so they will back to the solid. Okay, so this is what we are dis uh, going to discuss, we were discussing today for the fillet. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, discuss about how to avoid the problem using variable radius command in Rhino 3D software. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share my video, and also subscribe my channel if you haven't do so. That help me to build more free tutorial for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.